Arkham Reporter here. I wanted to make this video for March 15th because I'm guessing some of you know that March 15th is the anniversary of Lovecraft's death. That's when he died. Um, I wanted to make a video for then. I wanted to make a well-scripted video, well-researched video, well-planned video where each of my words are precise what I wanted to say and all that sort of thing but I couldn't do it I couldn't make that video in time and it's not because I'm the laziest youtuber uh, <laughs> that exists which is true I probably am the laziest youtuber but it's it's more because I think because this is a it's a subject that shouldn't just be discussed in in such a cold way or at least I cannot just talk about this in such a, a, a cold and academic and, you know, this is the facts type of way. It's the death of Lovecraft. Although I didn't know the guy and he's not related to me, uh, he's a big part of my life. And to read about how he actually died, it is just, I don't know, I just feel it's, it's, it's better to do the talking directly, you know, and being more real rather than clinical um if you look on a, a normal uh, website about lovecraft's life how he died and that sort of thing you're gonna find that they're gonna say that lovecraft died poor he died poor which is true and he died in providence rhode island and he died of stomach cancer you know but nothing really more they don't really go into many details about how lovecraft died uh he died in a manner that i can only describe as gradual and utterly miserable it is a miserable death and it was a slow death and it is honestly it's it's depressing it's you know it's not a it's not something uh you really want to 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 enjoy reading about but uh thankfully there are two sources that we're going to look at today when i make this video the first one is esti joshi in his book, I Am Providence, this is volume two. Specifically, we're looking at the chapter, The End of One's Life, 1936 to 1937. Lovecraft dying in 1937, of course. Uh, Lovecraft, uh, Joshi goes into great deal, detail about Lovecraft's death in this book. And the second source for about Lovecraft's death is Lovecraft. Lovecraft kept the diary, uh, being the guy who keeps writing and writing and writing and writing letters and that sort of thing he actually caught, kept a diary about his death and extracts from it can be found in this book collected essays volume five volume five um yeah i'm going to be looking at both sources here when i make this video the first thing you should really first realize about this subject uh, lovecraft's death is that he knew he was dying Already in 1936, in the winter period, so starting in October, November, December, he basically knew he was going to die, that this was it. I think for a lot of people that is a, a great fear, you know, if you could know when you're going to die, would you want to know that? I think a lot of people would say no, but Lovecraft knew that this was basically the final, final chapter in his life. How do we know this? Well, basically... In mid-December, Lovecraft was offered the opportunity to be the editor of a magazine dedicated to weird tales and that sort of thing. And then he wrote in response to the offer, well, regarding the offer, I shall probably be available, that is to take the job, if still living at so advanced an age for the good weird magazine editorship which Mr. Leiber has in mind fritz Leiber, that is of course so already at this point mid-december he he says it in a joking kind of way but the man was 47 at that time is he going to be joking like oh, uh at 47 oh well if i'm still alive i'll do it no life expectancy even in 1920s with uh, you know not the health care that we have today it's not 47 for a man in a first world country like the United States. So already then he is sort of being a gentleman about the fact that he's dying, but there's no doubt in his mind that this is it. He later adds on a comment here about 
when he had the offer to edit some astronomical articles, you know. Funny how early interests crop up again towards the end of one's life. An early interest, of course, because Lovecraft had a great passion for astronomy when he was a youngster, but couldn't get into it because of his poor school record. In, 90, in, in February 28, he made a, a response to a, a, another query about whether he was going to be working on the book or on a book or something, on a book deal. And he writes, I am in constant pain, take only liquid food. And so bloated with gas that I cannot lie down, spend all time in chair propped up with pillows, and can read or write only a few minutes at a time. That that I think is probably one of the most saddest aspects. Lovecraft was all about writing, right? He was so passionate about it, not just the stories, but communicating, writing articles, writing his thoughts down writing reviews that sort of thing you know and he was unable to do that in the last parts of his life when i'm sure he had a thousand thoughts in his head um but he couldn't do it i mean i even remember reading one of actually in one of this book or the other volume one the the great pains that lovecraft went into just buying a, a waterman fountain pen had to have the right flow, had to have the right inconsistency, had to feel great in his hand. He had a great passion for writing. And now that that was taken away from him just before he was dying, you know, that that's, it's like a, basically the cherry on the top, you know, that's one of the most brutal things. I mean, it's like, imagine you have a guitarist, right? And guitar is your life and suddenly you, you lose the ability of your fingers. Now combine that with the fact that you're dying of cancer and you're constantly in pain. Joshi continues to say here, Lovecraft, of course, was never examined until a month before his death, at which time it was too late to do anything except relieve the pain. And even, masses do and even massive doses of morphine seemed to offer little alleviation. Finally, it says here that um, I'm jumping ahead here, to the time when he, when he died, but Joshi listed here at the in the same paragraph almost that carcinoma of the small intestine was the official cause of death for Lovecraft. It should also be noted here that Joshi goes on here quite a bit when he says when he lists this the source the the cause of death the the general physical state that Lovecraft was in because of his diet his diet his diet was quite poor. And that contributed, what contributed to Lovecraft's poor diet was his lack of money. He was beat, basically eating a lot of quick foods, a lot of cheap foods, a lot of canned food as well. And um, that was, he was eating basically two meals a day and he was eating as little as possible in order to save cash. Now we fast forward to the last month of Lovecraft's life. Joshi writes... Lovecraft's last month of life is agonizing merely to read about. What it must have been like to experience can scarcely be imagined. This period has been made suddenly more vivid by a document that was long thought to be lost. A death diary. In the beginning of 1937, Lovecraft started to keep a diary about his daily feelings, how he was feeling Physically, uh, regarding his health, what he was doing in those last few days, his activities. During this period, in uh, February 27th, um, his aunt was told that Lovecraft has terminal cancer. So that was when it was officially said from an official source, authoritative source, he's dying. This is it. February 27th. That's less than a month uh, until he actually died. So if we look here, in the second book that I have here, we can actually look at what Lovecraft wrote about his death. Um, so I'm just going to skim through it and list the general gist of what he was feeling during that sort of period. Rested poorly. Digestion and health poor. Frequent rest periods. Digestive trouble persists and with complications. Uh, Dr. Dustin arrives, examine and prescribe. Dr. Dustin was the doctor who was treating him at the time. Acute pains continues. Rise, 8 a.m., 
bad day with much pressure of gas, coordinate correspondence, rest, read paper, home dinner, rest, write, rest, write, and read at intervals, pain off and on, increased pain, retire 11 p.m., worst night yet, couch and Morris chair, intense pain, rest in pain, this was all during January, then we go over to March, he continues in, in the early parts of March here, constantly talking about pain, you know, uh, pain worse, uh, read, pain worse, bad night, frequent immersions, he continues on here in March with pretty much the same thing, pain, pain worse, read, pain worse, March the 5th, pain intense, March 10th, pain and weakness, two doctors call, recommend hospital, prepare, and then the last entry, March 11th, which was, well, he died March 15th, so it's a few days before the end, he writes, pain, Dr. Jones takes blood, bath, pain, that's it, so that's, that's what he was going through, uh, before he died, that's, yeah, going back to this book here by uh, Joshi, uh, we can see it at the same period here, that when I just, I just finished reading to you what happened, by March 9th, Lovecroft was unable to take any food or drink, uh, doctors called intermittently, uh, recommending that he goes to Jane Brown Memorial Hospital in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. He was taken there in an ambulance and placed in a, in a room, and that Lovecroft's diary ended May, uh, March 11th, which was that time when I said that he was basically having blood taken and, and tests done, and he was just in extreme pain. He couldn't eat. For the next several days, Lovecroft had to be fed intravenously, and he continued vomiting up all nourishment, even liquids. Um, yeah. And that day, uh, March 14th, the day before Lovecroft died, uh, this Barlow, the writer, he wanted to... He said in a, in a telegram, would like to come and help you if agreeable. Answer Levensworth tonight. This is because he was living with his aunt, Annie Gamwell, at the time, and Barla was writing to Annie, and that's what he said. And then um, that was on the 14th, and Lovecroft died the next day. S.G. Joshi ends the, the chapter here by saying, Howard Phillips Lovecroft died early in the morning of March 15th, 1937. He was pronounced dead at 7.15 a.m. That evening, Annie... Gamal, his aunt, telegraphed a reply to Barlow. Howard died this morning. Nothing to do, thanks. So that's how Lovecroft died. He died in extreme pain in hospital, unable to eat, drink, in the end, vomiting, even whatever they tried to give him just to, um, you know, keep him nourished. Uh, the drugs, the, the morphine that they gave him, that didn't really work. Um, I think the worst thing about Lovecraft's death is surely he had so much time when he was dying to think about his life, you know, and I'm sure, I'm pretty damn sure that as he was dying and sitting in his chair or in the hospital in bed, where are my works going to be going? Where are my short stories going to end up? My poems? All these things that I dedicated so much time to, that I gave my life for, basically. And where were they? They were in pulp magazines that people throw away when they finish reading them, you know? There was no compilation of his works like we have today. We have these things. There was none of this for him. There was a published... Uh, the Shadow of Insmith was published, um, but very limited, in a limited way, and yeah... It was only after he died that, you know, the anthology started to come out. So from his point of view, the thing that he loved more than anything in life and was so dedicated to will all be gone. You know, as soon as he died, it's it's going to be gone. So it's like he, 
I mean, does not every writer want their words to live on and to be read by future generations? From his point of view, that wouldn't happen really, would it? So I think that is, you know, if, if, you, if you have this sort of notion in your head and you put yourself in his shoes, I mean, that, that probably would have had to have been as painful as the cancer was. That's really, that's fucking depressing, man. Uh, anyway, I, I guess I should end here. This is a long video. Um, yeah, uh, I don't, <laughs> sorry about the depressing video here, you know, it's not really what I wanted to do, but hey, the anniversary came up and I had to do the video. Yeah, so, uh, what's the time now? 1.51 a.m. Uh, I'm just going to edit this all quickly together, put it up online. Yeah. Fuck it. See you guys around, eh?